Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. I've been watching um these old Marvel movies for the past couple of days, man. Just getting my feel of Marvel because I think the new... um. Deadpool Wolverine finna come out pretty soon, man. I mean, I didn't seen it already. They keep showing all the damn clips online, but you know, I still want to see it because I'm, I'm a Marvel fan. I like that. But um, you know, I, I've been going through them, just going back, just watching them, the old ones, you know, leading up to it, this the whole timeline. And I think like one of the best ones is um Captain America Civil War. That's where they introduced the Black Panther and um. I think that's what they introduced Spider-Man or Spider-Boy or Spider-Ling, whatever he is, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But I keep getting to the point, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling Wakanda and how they be doing, you know, using their technology. Or they lack for using their technology. I don't think they like black people, man, the Wakandans. I think they racist against black people or African-Americans, to say, you know, the least. Because they could have saved Killmonger. Y'all know when Killmonger, when he died and he was dying on that ledge and stuff and... You know, he said those pivotal words like, bury me over the sea, so, you know, because death is better than bondage and all that stuff. You know, that was a good little, a little moment. And everybody liked that part, man. But I think they could have saved him. They could have used them beads, man. They had beads to put in him to save him. So I'm looking like, man, why didn't y'all save Killmonger? Or why didn't y'all give Rhodey some better legs, man? Y'all, why y'all give him no Wakandan legs? That's why I think you ain't like African-Americans. When he, you know, when War Machine rolls, when he fell, and they ain't hook him up. Not at all. They ain't the problem I got with it, though. Not because they ain't hook him up, because niggas, you know, everybody want to hook up all the time. You know what I mean, though, man. They could have saved him. Or say, gave him some vibranium legs. Because Wakanda is a secret place you can't really get into, man. You know, old boy had to have a lip tattoo to get up in there and kill Munger. But who they invite to the cookout? They invited Bucky Barnes to the cookout, man. Had them, had them all in the damn African clothes and stuff, chilling, running around Africa. They even called that boy the White Wolf. Gave him a nickname. You see? Gave him a new arm and everything. Look at that. Look at that vibranium arm. That's dope. I like that arm. I like that arm, man. You see? They invited him to the cookout. Who else? Everett Ross. Look at him. He got the African clothes on. The garbs of the Africans. Running around Wakanda. They even gave a damn... Robot access to Wakanda or Android, whatever you want to call it. You see that? Ain't that kind of weird, man? That's why I say they don't like African Americans, yo. Because first of all, they didn't save him. They wouldn't have a little, little wound to the chest. Like he died in in like in, in minutes. He had minutes to die. He was sitting up there. Nah, man, I'm all right. I'm chilling here. No, nah, just bury me over here. Throw me in the ocean so I can. He had a whole monologue when he died. Killmonger. You understand what I'm saying? So they could have easily just threw one of them little bees in there, took them back, did some shit, hooked them up. Bucky Barnes, that nigga was the damn winter soldier, killing people, doing shit. You had to say certain words and he'll come back and kill everybody in the room, you know? What do they call it? The Manchurian candidate type stuff? That's what he had. He had that on him. But what they do? They took Bucky Barnes back there, chilled, got that shit out of his head with X, did all that. Took that all out of his head. They gave him a new arm. Vibranium arm. They arm. They they shit. That's they metal. Everett Ross. Got shot in the back or something in one of the Wakanda movies. I think Wakanda was forever. I ain't really like that one. Um, what they do? They took him over there. Hooked him up. Vision. Took him. Hooked him up. Everybody. Except the African Americans. They... They could at least gave them um the new Captain America some wings. The black the Falcon. Give him some some vibranium wings. You ain't do that, did you? You see? What kind of ain't for us, man? That's what I'm saying. That, that's why I would I am sitting back watching this man. I'm looking like Damn. Why they ain't get why they ain't bring him back? Why they ain't help him? Why he ain't get no legs? Why he ain't get no wings? I'm looking like But I'm looking at him talking like, damn, y'all didn't take the white man over here. Gave him some new some some African clothes, some African arms and shit. Y'all taking stones out of vision head. I'm like, hey, man. They not like us. Anyway, man. That's my little rant I had, man. Because I don't know if y'all see the way I see it or think about how I'm thinking about it. I mean, that's just me. That's how I see it. I'm just looking at these, this periodic table of movies. and Not periodic table. 
this like this this timeline of, of all these movies that came out and was looking at how the Wakandans do the black folks. That's how Africans do they they look down on African Americans. Niggas, you've been over here for four hundred years and you know. Africans is on long African Americans, so that's why I think the Wakandans didn't do nothing for Oh boy, um, what's his name? Kill Monkey. He had to mm, show his lip and all that. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. Y'all got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. Like I said, I go live Fridays at 9 p.m. right here on this channel, man. Come through and fuck with your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news in a piece. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.